Hello everyone, the Pokemon Fan 1993 here, back with more Pokemon Heart Gold Nuzlocke randomized. So basically what this means is that everything in the game, or mostly everything in the game is randomized. Nuzlocke means that I can only pick up one Pokemon per route, and I must uh, get rid of the Pokemon if one of the Pokemon in question in my party happens to die. If you want to know full description of that, we can check, you can check the description for, the, for that part. So during the last episode, I forgot I did this, I picked up an Impish can with the ability slow start. So for those who don't, for those who can't read it, apparently, it typically will test half its speed, and that lasts for about five turns. And then in between, after that, it'll get add together, and its attack and speed will return to normal. So I originally was going to ask about what you guys should think I should do about this particular um, again and I never really got around to asking that. So I'm going to be decision myself. I think if it, if I had a bill, if it um it was a uh, a um, Torchic or a Combustion, I might keep it, but there's no it, there's no guarantee because if it was to evolve, maybe its ability would change. But um, Blaziken is already the, already its thirsty evolution, the, the best it gets. So I'm actually going to just deposit it into my box because I actually have I think I already have one Pokemon already with that ability, and it, it's not really that great. Let me just double check to make sure I'm not talking out my butt. But yeah, I have a um I think no I think I had one with. Did I have one with slow start? Yeah, I had a Krogan with slow start. So, we're going to put him in the box. We're going to go with the party Pokemon. And we're going to put Brewster into the box. Box one. You can obviously see, too, that I've actually had quite a few Pokemon faint. So I can't use them anymore. So, I'm just going to move that a little bit further so I can see what I'm doing. And then what we're going to do here is we're going to move on. So I'm trying to vaguely remember what I was doing. I took, do I not have a journal in this game? Because like a, I should have a journal in this game somewhere. Maybe I don't. I do not. Okay. That's not a big deal. So we're just going to move on. I'm pretty sure we, did we beat Whitney already. I'm pretty sure we did. Double check the, the uh, badges. We did not beat Whitney yet. And we went to the route. So we still have to beat Whitney. Whitney is someone we still have to beat. I think I went up to the previous the route up there because I wanted to see if I get another Pokemon before I kept going. Because now we're down to four Pokemon. I believe I lost one during the last episode. At some point we had five. And there's going to be a bit of slowdown when I go through certain places like this. What's this? And he went flying off saying I have to get a radio card. Okay, so I have to go to Goldenrod depart the Goldenrod um, place here and get a radio card. And I believe she returns to the gym after that. So this is, I believe this is the, um, this is the, no, this is the thing. But, hang on a sec, let me go back, because there is a guy in the downer left here who will actually give you presents for your mom this way rather than send them to your PC like they did in, in the original hard gold, uh, in the original gold and silver. So we have a repel we got from her. Is that it? Okay, so we only have a repel that we got from her. That's not terrible. Probably use that later on. So we are going to... The radio tower is actually this way. For the reason I thought it was the same thing as the Goldenrod Department Store, and apparently I was wrong. So basically, to get this used, it answer a bunch of random questions and see what happens. I'm going to do this too. So if she draws a number that's equal to my, equal to my um, ID number, and see if it matches up. I didn't get a match. I figured that would happen. So now we gotta do this. Special quiz campaign. That's five points for England radio card. Yes. Can you check the time at half of the poke here? Yes. Second question. Ninner can only be female. True? Yes. Third question. Kurt the Bull uses apricots and greens. No, he used apricorns. Possibly use a TM on Magic Carp. True? Yes. One more question. Pablo Show. It's Maria. No, it's actually Mary. So it's, that's a no. So I get the radio card. I think Whitney freaks out too. Oh, you did. You thought, I thought the third answer to the question was show you apricots. Oops. Time to go back to the gym. That one I only knew because I played. I've been playing Heart Gold along. I've been playing Gold very recently, and basically, right before this town, you actually inc thing. And actually, I believe I have stuff in my inventory that would actually say that I'm actually have some apricots or apricorns. Maybe not. 
Anyway. So we're going to move on to Whitney's gym now that we actually can. I'm not crazy about the whole slowdown thing, but once we get in here, it should stop. So I can get in here. So normally this is a normal gym. However, with the randomizer, we have no telling what Pokemon Pokemon they're going to be uh, keeping around. So some on the bot, some so you have to go up and down the stairs to find different places. But I'm going to try to bet all the trainers as well. So we're going to go. I don't think there's anything around here. There is not. So we're going to go up the stairs, I think, real quick and battle the one trainer that I saw up here. Or possibly the two trainers I saw up here. Oh, what a cute little trainer. I like you, but I won't hold back. Sorry, whenever I move my um, DS thing, the emulator kind of screws up a little bit. Road time level 9. Okay, that's pretty much doable. Anticipation made a shutter. I have Night Slash. I should be over a snap. Done. Fighting in 253. Grimer's next. I think I'm still good with this. I also have Z set up to be my auto uh, fast forward button, so we're going to go through this a little bit faster. Hidden Power does almost nothing. Crab Hammer. So I'm going for a Night Slash. It should do some damage. Oh, it has a... Uh, what do you call it? Truant, so it couldn't attack me during the next turn. 250. I like the Virus the last Pokemon. That's definitely not good for Spiky to be out in that. Unfortunately, the only... I just not realize how weak I am to grass. Jeez. Electric, too. Hopefully Fluff can deal with this. So we have Ring Out. That'll do some damage. More than I thought. Hypnosis, that's not good. Where moves does it have? Loafing around. This one has that, too. It has Hyper Voice. That could be a slight problem. Loafing around. Powdered Snow. Hyper Voice again. Then go for a Kite here. I'll get a boost off that. What the fire is down. Victoria was defeated. 896 for winning and sent some to my mom. Okay, so we're still good. I think we have two more trainers to fight and then Whitney. I'm going to battle the last, the other two trainers and I'm going to retreat to the Pokemon Center and heal my Pokemon up. I think this is the only trainer up here. Yeah, the other ones are on the uh, bottom floor. Alright, let's see what she got. Pokemon, she has a... Ah, fuck me. Alright. <laughs> we might lose a Pokemon here, I'm not gonna lie. Um, Switch to Fluff, see what he does, what happens here. Iron Head, okay, that's not terrible. Do I have any healing items? I have a Super Potion, let's use one of those. I think my HP, I believe it's 50 or 60. Sick, 50. Had Will Wisp, but it missed. Good. The good thing is Fluff does have Power of Snow, so that's too much damage that does. Jackal. Fantastic. And I hit Will Wisp. So now, any physical attack I use will be, uh, depleted in power, but I'll just have that spam powder of snow. Maybe I'll get him frozen if I'm lucky enough. Absorbed light. And no solar beam. That's not good. So if I the solar beam, how much damage is that gonna do? Damn. That was a lot of damage. Um, use another Zero Potion. It does I'm gonna need to buy some more items after before I fight Whitney anyway. Good news is, uh, Solar Beam is a uh, two-turn move, so it takes a while for him to use it. That goes us down. Spiking in 369, so there's Fluff, level 20. That was hurt by the burn. Torpedo is next. That's not as bad, so I can deal with that. Um, Torpedo is... Yes, I've cried chop on Spiky, so that should work. Cry and chop. Double kick. That's not good. That's super effective, but luckily Double Kick is not that powerful move of a move. Minimize, that might be a problem. Nope, never mind. <laughs> so he's gonna hit level 20. Samantha was defeated, 896 for winning, sets on the mom. Okay, so now I guess I'm gonna slide Pokemon here a little bit. Fluff is in no condition to fight, so we're gonna put Flip Flipper up front.
I also normally would go through my Pokemon and tell you exactly what I have, but I think I've done that enough in the past episodes, so I many people are pretty much caught up on what Pokemon I have and what moves they have, so I'm gonna stop I'm gonna stop doing that. So now we head down here and I think we gotta wait, how do we get there then? Is there a hidden spot where you have to go through? Because I couldn't get through the other way. Is there a spot here I'm not seeing? Oh I I think I see it, hang on. Yeah, right here. I didn't see that before. The spot right here you can go through. Also, I'm letting you guys know that my D-pad on my controller that I'm using is completely screwed up. This is the controller right here. So that's gonna be it. That that's why I sometimes go in a direction I'm not supposed to. That's the exact reason why I'm why that happens to me sometimes. Speed drill. So that's not too terrible to fight to deal with, I don't think. I think Flipper has a nice type move. It does not, but I have fake out and payday. So we're gonna go fake out. Gonna make him flinch, payday, no dizzy punch, and it confused me. And I hurt myself with my confusion, that's not good. And no fury attack, ironically, because that's a, that's a generic move it, it normally weren't. This is not come on, really? I'm not I'm not gonna be able to hit him at all, right? Oh every single time I play a every single time I play a nuzlocke or a random, every single time it decides to screw me over. I don't understand why I just love to do that. Nice slash. Spring shot. That's another move we can learn to vanilla via vanilla gameplay. Flipper gained 289. Flipper hit level 21. Flipper gained 289. Beat that one. Okay, so now we got one more trainer, then we can fight Whitney. She has strong people. Let's see what she's got. Three Pokemon. Hot tip. That one you turn any awards. Um, take out. I should have swapped before this battle started. Forgot Flipper took a lot of damage from that last one. Power Gem, that's not good. Flipper's dead. He got super effective and a critical hit. So this game really freaking loves me today. So my, I might... Randomize my end right here. I don't know like what to do if... I think I have a water move. Do I have a water move? I do not, actually. But I do a body slam. Power change, normal type. Weather ball. More bison. I'll put it down. Good. Pena's doing some decent work here. Level 21. Muscle and barrier. What's this other move? I want to know rest. I try to keep rest. Whoops. It did not warn barrier. Cast form's the last one. Luckily the cast form should have um shouldn't have snow warning. Or should have should have snow warning. I guess this one doesn't though. Sucker punch, karate chop. So we're in a bit of a pickle here. Um I know for a fact that Whitney has three Pokemon, and I know we only have three Pokemon left that we can use. Um, the randomizer, the the randomizer, might, or this uh, another like randomizer might end here. Um, once we beat Whitney, though, we can go to other routes. Again, another couple routes, and we can get some more Pokemon. Hopefully, get some good ones. Um, other than that, though, um, not really a lot you can really do. They have to go up here and then go around, go down the other staircase to get to the entrance. Too bad Flipper was hanging in there for the longest time. I think it was only the first, the second or third Pokemon I ever got through this randomizer. Walt's calling me. What do you want? Fire breathers. Okay, just something about him talking about his job. First thing we gotta do is gotta make sure we put Flipper in the in the PC. Those like rules. There's just one thing I gotta do with Flipper real quick. So I gotta take that item off Flipper. Because that miracle seem might come in handy in some other situations. Alright, now we can heal our Pokemon, we can go fight Whitney. Hopefully this shouldn't be too bad. But, I can't imagine her having something any anything worse than that damn rollout milk tank. Although I never really had much of a problem with it, probably because I didn't try to run through the entire game with a, with a Quava or a Cyndaquil, so... Plus it's a randomizer, so there's obviously going to... She's obviously going to have different Pokemon. If she's going to a milk tank, I'll probably might quit the damn thing right there. I don't think it's going to happen, though. I was really going to do this on in Pokemon Gold, like on the Gen 2, but I decided to do Gen 4 because there's no more Pokemon available, more moves available, more items available. 
than it would be for Pokemon Gold or Silver or Crystal. So let's see how bad we can get our Bug Pitch in front of Whitney. Or rather, by Whitney. No, not down there. I will say one thing I don't like about Hard Ground Silver is their one tile thing. Like, if you're trying to move one tile, it's almost damn impossible sometimes. I understand you could use the D-pad, but sometimes it's even hard doing it that way. I'm gonna come down these stairs again, go around this way. Alright, let's see what Whitney has in store for us. And then she has like a fairy, a jigglypuff, and a milk tank normally. So she has three Pokemon. No, she only has two Pokemon. She has a deli bird, okay. This could be fine. Um Ring out, see how much damage that does. Almost killed it. Mud shot. My speed went down, not a big deal. Use a silver potion, you bitch. Psychic. Cut. Alright, not too bad. Also a little bit of health there, but she's down to one Pokemon. I got 666 six, six for that. That's probably not a good sign. Politoed. Okay, that's not terrible. Um, switch, let's switch out. I don't know if I want to risk losing another Pokemon or not. How much? I don't think Hidden Power's going to do any damage to it. I always forget what... Yeah. Oh, it's super effective, actually. It didn't, didn't do shit for damage. It knows Sludge Bomb. That could be a problem. Night Slash... Metronome. Major power turn to try attack. Oh god. Okay, we're still alright, we're still okay. Quick claw activated night slash. Okay. That wasn't as bad as I thought it could be. And major power had me worried because try attack is actually a decently powerful normal type move. Big level 21. 22 80 for winning. So now I have to go back and this girl's gonna tell her that she need that we need to calm down. So that's three badges down. Another five to go. Cam 45. So normally it's a trap, but I think it changes because of the randomizer. Well, let me just double check. Cam 45 is actually in the second detect, so I didn't have to have two detect DMs. I think I would prefer to track, actually. Alright. Alright. Can I please get out of here? It's like the one of the worst gyms for that deep head to screw with me. Go up here, go all the way around. Alright, that's three badges down. Now we're gonna make an attempt to go capture that Sudowoodo or whatever is gonna be in its place. Um That does <clears throat> I wanna check something real quick. Before I just, I want to say I I know the answer to this, but I want to see what happens. Let's see, Pokemon Gold, uh, Nuzlocke. Um, so I want to know, like, am I able, able to catch this static Pokemon? Okay, so I'm um, just a quick look away. Some people consider it a gift Pokemon. Some people consider it a um, route Pokemon. I would say, considering I'm down to three Pokemon, I'm actually going to treat it as a gift Pokemon. So I'm going to count at whatever Sudowoodo is. I'm going to be able to capture it. But now that I have to make sure everyone's all right. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go actually go up because we have to go. If we go beyond Whitney's gym, we can get something called. We can get an item I believe called the Squirt Bottle, which allows us to normally cap deal with Sudowoodo. But obviously, the brand is going to is going to change that. All right, now that we got that, we can go up to back to um. We can go back to 
the other route up here, and we can deal with Sudowoodo. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. I almost, I almost forgot, almost forgot. We do not have a lot of Pokeballs. Let's go grab some. Go buy some, rather. So it should be that hard to catch, though, because I think I have that easy thing on where you can easily catch Pokemon that are that are normally really hard to catch. Um, I think it's the second or third floor you can buy Pokeballs in this place. A lot of potions here. I should grab some more potions, actually, too. Let me grab, like, three more potions. So I almost... Lost one, another one of my Pokemon in this two Pokemon in one video because of that. What else we got here? All right, here we are. Oh, we can buy Ultra Balls. This early on, is everything randomized? No, it doesn't seem like it. I guess I'll just buy as many Ultra Balls as I possibly can. I think I'm fine. Everything else, I don't think I need anything else, and I will be doing more battles. Obviously, it's quite a few battles in Golden City I can get, I can do for uh, money. Plus, I can use um. No, actually, Flipper is dead now. I can't use Payday anymore. Wait. Yeah, Flipper had Payday, so I can't use that little cheat anymore to get a little extra money out of every battle. So now we got that. We're going to go on our bike, and we're going to head up there as quickly as possible. Today's a bug engine concept. I'm not interested in doing it. Just doing it this way so I don't have to go through the grass and potentially encounter several more Pokemon I don't need to deal with. Alright, let's go. This is where Sudowoodo is. This girl's gonna tell you about Sudowoodo. Alright, so now we're gonna see what we can do here. We're about time. Bad tree attack. So normally it's suitable to see if it if the random has changed it at all. Where on? Okay. So this is kind of it. ironic. Um, back when I was doing the the platinum randomizer, I actually picked up Laron and something similar. So uh, I could go for. I don't think the name punch will be enough to knock it out. He's really defensive. I did get one. Sh oh, I. Ugh. I probably shouldn't have done that, shouldn't have done that, shouldn't have done that. Okay. The reason I said I shouldn't have done that because it confused him. He'd have a chance to hurt, him, hurt himself in confusion. And that could knock, potentially not make him knock himself out. So I have a few turns before he knocks himself out, hopefully. So let's use an Ultra Ball. I don't think it's gonna... I think an Ultra Ball will be enough to catch this thing. Or he's just gonna immediately bust out. Almost immediately. Have that confusion and no sludge. Okay, it's interesting. Actually, did a lot more damage than I thought it would. Then again, he did get a crit, so I guess I can't say anything too much on that. Ultra Ball. Caught it. Okay. Whereas they was add the Pokedex, I'm really sure about that, though. Give nickname to wear on. Yes. Um. I don't know what to name it, though. Um, the male. <sighs> Alright, let's do this. I'm extremely uncreative, so let's, let's name it this. I'm gonna put steel, but I'm gonna put an, um, an L-E at the end. So, like, steel A. Alright. That was fun. I'm gonna do this for entertain me. Berry pots. Oh, this is the one where you can you can grow berries in these things. Grow plant from any region without oh, no worries. That's right. I'll give you some berries too. Obtain orange berries. Obtain peach berries. Arnie's calling me. What do you want? Yeah, I don't care. Let's have a look at Laron now, or Steel, I should say. Him in nature, so minus attack, increased speed. 
Shell armor vents and crit will hit double slap a Roy Beam Avalanche and Sludge. It's not terrible. Um, I'm not crazy about the whole decrease of, uh, increase speed, decrease attack thing, but unlike a lot of Pokemon, this actually should be reusable because I can double slap an Avalanche. Actually, it's, a, it's attack and special like actually aren't that far off from each other, so this is actually not a bad Pokemon. Um, it definitely would help with grass encounters. Uh, definitely help with grass encounters. It would help against, um, uh, I have a couple of ice moves. I think this will be fun. I think it'll be fine to use. So we are going to... Actually, we're going to put Leaf Steel in the back for now because I'm going to need to... Actually, let's go... We can go this way to heal. I believe I taught this guy too. Give me HM06 for Rock Smash. I do something like... Yeah. It's an HM too, so I could, I could give it... I think I'm going to give that HM to... Well, use it on if they don't have the... It's it's infinite. So we're going to go Rock Smash. We're actually going to give it to Steel to give him an, another decent... Uh, fighting... Or, uh, give him a decent Rock move. So I'm actually going to get rid of Aurora Beam. Um, because Avalanche is better. Because it inflicts, um, it inflicts damage to use them in her by moving the same turn. And where on, even with the increased little speed he gets, is actually better off because he'll most likely go second every single time. So we're going to teach that to him. That gives him Rock rock Smash. That lets him get through some other Pokemon that are similar to him. And then I think we're going to do it. I think we're going to end here. Because I think if I save over there, I might forget where I'm going. But basically, I'm not putting him up front. Because there's at least one or two more battles up here that I have to do. So, oh, there's an item here. Moonstone. Okay, that could be interesting. So that ends are randomized as well. Anyway, I think it's a good deal for this video. Thank you for watching. This is the Pokemon Fan 1993 signing off. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.